when I first create a document size, you can go to File, New. I set to this size and change it to Portrait and click OK. Okay, you can open the image by going to File, open its layers, and I choose this. Just click Keep. Alright, you see it's the original canvas size. You can resize it by pressing Shift S on the keyboard and hold Control only to create a proportional scale. And I place it on the bottom. Okay, next let's open the other image by going to Fold, open the layers again. This time I choose this. Let's click Keep. And you see this is the original canvas. Reset it by pressing Shift S, or you can click this scale tool, Shift S on the keyboard, and hold Control only to create a proportional scale. And then place it on here. And press enter. Okay, you can reduce the opacity for the image to see where you want to put the text. Okay, I want to put the text on here, so press T or you can click this icon, the text tool, and type. And Ctrl A to select all the font and I want to change font to Okay. Can increase the text by five hundred. Just make it full from the left to the right canvas. All right. Okay, so right now, and I place it on the, and I place it the text on the center of the canvas. Okay, just make it to corner to corner. All right, and press T again to edit the text and Control A. I want to change the text to white. Now let's create a clipping mask with the path tool. You can press B. To do active the path tool, I start from here. So I just click, and on this point, click to here and to here. Just make it connect like a script font. So we need to mask the half of this text. So that's why you, that's why I'm using the pencil. It's more flexible. And here, just click and drag, follow the shape of letters. Okay. then just click it out from the canvas and connect it to the first node so you see hold control you see this chain icon then click and press enter all right now you can turn up this top image and Next, let's do a masking. So you can right click, add layer mask, just this white full opacity, then hit that. And with pen brush tool, make sure the color is in the default, the black and white, black in the front. Okay, while in selection, make sure you click this mask layer and brush it. And after it's done, you can select and choose not. So that's how you can do this masking effect on game. I use the script font, you can download the font on the link in the description. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.